And welcome back. Now, Tswane Mayor Stevens Mohalapa has refuted corruption allegations against him, as reported in a weekend newspaper. Mohalapa traveled to China for five days in July on a trip paid for by Chinese cellular company Huawei. A weekend publication claimed that Mohalapa's trip won Huawei a one billion rand tender, which was irregularly awarded. Now, the municipality says the tender in question was advertised in July and only closes today. Day. Mukhalapa, who became Tswane's mayor in February, says that he inherited an administration ridden by tender, ir by tender irregularities and administrative dilemmas. Uh, Stevens Mukhalapa joins us now from our SABC studios in Pretoria. Good morning and welcome to Morning Live, Mr. Mukhalapa. Good morning and thank you for having me in your studio. Good morning to the viewers. Mr. Mukhalapa, you refute these allegations and uh, you apparently have a different explanation uh, with regard to what happened and also the figures uh, stating that instead of one billion rand that was cited, uh, there may be another figure. So please give us your explanation. Yes, thank you very much. I think it's quite very much uh, disappointing and purely just uh, malicious and gutter uh, cheap journalism. The fact are this, is that the tender in question is for the development and maintenance of a public safety solution for the city of Tswane. That tender was awarded on the 29th of July and it's closing today. And it's for the value of 26 million for three years. So I don't know where the Sunday Times got the one billion from but it is just pure sensationalization. So there is no one billion rand tender at all? There is no one billion tender at all. I will write also to the press ombudsman and also write to the Sunday Times, you know, um, expressing my utter disgust into uh, this malicious intent by um, Sunday Times. Because of there is no one billion tender, the official tender that has been out on the 29th was the one of 26 million for a period of three years. And let me also mention that there is no deal with Huawei. I went to China on an invitation by Huawei to come and view their smart city and their safe city operations. And that was all. There was no MOU that was signed or a letter of intent to award a tender. In fact, the mayor does not deal with tenders. That process is dealt with by supply chain management of the city. And I went to China from the 26th to the 3rd of August, and this tender was awarded on the 29th. So it was even awarded way long uh, before the China trip. So it is very much unrelated to the China trip and it's quite very, very, very malicious. So, um, Mr. Mokhalaba, you just said a little while ago that uh, the purpose for your trip to China was for public safety solutions, amongst others, to inspect yes. those. And mm. this particular tender of 26 million has that sort of element uh, also specified within it. Uh, is that coincidental? No, no, I mean, it is definitely, you know, uh, not coincidental. But to say that it is, um, was intentional that this would be awarded to Huawei, even by now, that tender is not yet awarded to Huawei. So to insinuate that um, it was, the tender was issued to Huawei, even when the process of uh, awarding the tender is not yet completed, I mean, it's closing um, on the 28th. Of, of August, and it's a public open tender, anyone can apply. The city has for a long time been intending to upgrade our smart city and our safe city. Our security um, um, cameras uh, were analog and the tender finished in, in July. So we were looking at how do we make sure that our city has got integrated services that are efficient and effective and well coordinated through the use of ICT. 
And as you know, and the viewers might know, smart cities are a future. And any city that wants to compete in an international global scale should be able to build their smart city capacity. And Tuan is no exception to that. All other cities are doing that. And also the issue around uh, public safety and safe city. Each and every city must have the capacity to build a safe city. So going to China was to learn about that. And it wasn't to award a tender to Huawei. And as we sit now, there is no tender awarded to Huawei for one billion. Well, you've clarified the one billion issue, but do you appreciate, Mr. Mukhalapa, that you having gone on this junket with uh, Huawei actually then uh, raises questions about uh, what could subsequently happen in the awarding of such a tender should they be successful? And you say that these two things have no mm. bearing on each other, but obviously mm. the perception it creates is that it could very well do. It is a public open, it's a public open tender. You know, it's open to anyone who's got the capacity to do um, safe city capacity. So it's not limited to one. I don't understand why it should be fixated that because I went to Huawei, that automatically means that Huawei will get it. And like I say, the mayor doesn't get involved in supply chain management issues. So. I get invited all over the world and everywhere else to view um, things of how to better um, a city. So does that mean I should not uh, take those uh, invitations on the fear that uh, it will be meaning that I am awarding tenders to those uh, people? No. You know, and in this instance, it was just a call, a courtesy visit by Huawei to say, you are in the process of building this. Let us show you how it is done so that you know what animal you are dealing with. <clears throat> and I went there and appreciated <clears throat> what they are doing. So the tender is open for everyone and it's not for Huawei. I haven't given Huawei any indication that they will get a tender. There is no letter signed. There is no MOU signed. There is nothing. So. It is just now being purported by Sunday Times because of the visit that um, then the tender will be awarded to away, which is very much bizarre and upset. Now, um, the publication also says that you could be in hot water with your party, the Democratic Alliance, for not getting approval from the party. So whose rules would you say you flouted, a mayoral office or that of the Democratic Alliance? Well, I, I would want to be hesitant, really and honestly, to speak to the media about internal uh, party issues. Um, their party has went to the media and made their pronouncement. It is their right. But I don't want to engage on, on, those, um, on, 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 on those internal matters on media because of it's just going to create a situation of he said, she said, and then we got to always go on a rebut. So it is something that is being addressed and raised um, internally, and I would appreciate to leave it at that. Well, whilst I appreciate your sentiment in that regard, uh, the, the fact of the matter is the party says that you actually did not get the necessary approvals. And what I'm trying to establish right now is simply whether you did or didn't. Well, I think what, what will happen is um, because the party is the one that raised that matter, they are best placed to respond on that one. No, and, but, and but, but, but Mr. From my side, I would not want to dwell on that. But you know whether you actually did seek and get the necessary approval, which is the simple question that I'm putting before you. That is why I'm also giving you a simple answer that I do not want to deal with internal party matters on the media. But why is that an internal party matter? As a public representative uh, deployed by the party, surely the public has the right to know whether you, in fact, are following procedure or not. The, the party will definitely make a pronouncement on that. And um, that is where I have left it, uh, because of the engagement internally um, will determine um, where the issue is at. 
and because it's the party that raised the matter, I would want to leave it best placed to the party to make that response. So it will be the party that will respond on that one, on this one. All right. So in other words, you feel that you owe your allegiance and a response in this regard more to the party than you do to the people of Tswane. Well, I think, I think we are going around in circles. Um, the issue that you raised was on me to clarify the issue of the one billion Huawei issue, and I have clarified it. And then the issue of um, the, the, whether the, the visit was sanctioned or not, I said it is something that is dealt with because of there are internal processes. So that is where I leave it at. Because of the Meral Handbook, it's obviously very clear. So um, nothing was flouted on that regard. So that is why I'm saying that the best thing to leave is for the party to uh, communicate on that because I don't want to go on a tiptoe uh, with the party on this one. Now, in your statement, you also say that uh, Tswane is an embattled municipality with tremendous challenges that need to be addressed as a matter of urgency. What exactly are those urgent challenges and where are you going to begin to deal with them? Yes, of course, definitely. I mean, um, the, the current topical issue that we need to address uh, quite very decisively is the issue around the Haman Skral water. You have seen it has been around the media for the last two to three weeks. Uh, we are engaging with the Department of Water. We are engaging with the Provincial Department. We are also engaging with the Human Rights Commission. So. I uh, will be having a meeting with the Human Rights Commission uh, very soon, if not tomorrow, if everything is confirmed, um, so that we can uh, find one another and find what is the best way of resolving the issue uh, moving forward. Um, and I think that is the most important. Secondly, it is the issue of finalizing the issue around the NERSA issue uh, in terms of uh, the tariffs that they have given us that we need to ensure that we finalize at this council meeting. Um, and I think um, in the main, um, the third is to deal with service delivery backlog that we all know that it is quite very much massive. And my focus and my energy in, and energy is to ensure that we fast track um, uh, service delivery. Unfortunately, we don't have the time to get into any further detail in that regard, but I just want to put one final question to you. What's the status uh, with the city manager, uh, Musola, who was, currently on special, who was currently on special leave, we understand? Wasn't he supposed to have signed a separation agreement and left office already? What's going on there? Yes, um, the process is still to be finalized. Um, the final date for, com for finalization is the 30th of, of, of August, and Council will be dealing with that matter on, on Thursday at the Council meeting. Will you be getting a golden handshake? It's not a golden handshake. It is just a normal payout of his remainder two and a half years. If you are, SABC is letting you go and you've got seven month contract left, they give you your seven-month contract cost to company and you part ways. There's no golden handshake. So in this instance, it's the same thing. It's a payout of the remainder of the two and a half years and uh, we shake hands and we move on. How much will that be? How much will he be receiving? Well, the calculation is just based on his salary. As you know, that uh, municipal managers of... of uh, of metros, they earn, they earn a huge salary. So it is uh, purported to be around $7 million. Well, we leave it there. Thank you so much, uh, Mayor of Tswane, Stephen Smokhalapa, responding to allegations of corruption regarding a 1 billion rand tender in favor of Huawei. Uh, 7 million rand, as he finally says there, with how much seven months left on the contract? Well, um, it, it, we, we surely will speak about this again further at a later stage. But that's where we're going to leave it for now.